Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will learn how to properly autofill VLOOKUP formulas. When using the VLOOKUP in Excel, you can autofill the formula to populate the function correctly across multiple cells. In this video, we will show you why sometimes the autofill doesn't work correctly, and we'll provide two methods to avoid the incorrect filling. Let's get started. How to autofill VLOOKUP formula in Excel. Auto-filling allows you to quickly apply the VLOOKUP formula to adjacent cells without manually editing each formula. Here's how to do it. Let's assume you have the following setup. Column A contains the lookup values. Column D to column H contain the table from which you want to retrieve data using VLOOKUP. Step 1. Enter the VLOOKUP formula in the first cell where you want the result. In this example, let's say you want to retrieve data from column G the colors, based on the values in column A. You can enter the VLOOKUP formula in cell B2 as follows. Equals VLOOKUP, A2, E2, G11, 3, false. Step 2. Autofill the formula to other cells. Select the cell B2, which contains the VLOOKUP formula. Hover your mouse over the small square in the bottom right corner of the selected cell. The fill handle. When your cursor changes to a plus sign, click and drag it down to autofill the formula to other cells in column B. As you drag down, Excel will adjust the formula automatically for each row, updating the cell references accordingly. For instance, in cell B3, the formula will become equals VLOOKUP A3 E3 G12 3 false and so on for the subsequent rows. You can see that for row 3 to row 7, even the lookup range reference is adjusted based on the row number, the lookup value, for example. Andrew in cell A2 can still be found in the adjusted range E3 to G12. However, from line 8 onwards, the lookup value cannot be found within the adjusted lookup range, so the error and A is returned after autofilling the VLOOKUP formula. To avoid this issue, we have two resolutions here. Let's see the first one using absolute reference to the lookup range. Ensure you use absolute references, with dollar signs, for the table array, E2, G11 in this example, to keep the range fixed as you autofill. Follow the steps below. Add dollar sign before the range reference. The lookup value, A2 in this example, should be relative so that it updates correctly as you autofill. Autofill the formula again. This time autofill works properly. No error displays now. Using range name to the lookup range. We can also enter the range name in the formula to keep the range fixed as you autofill. Follow the steps below. Select the range you want to apply VLOOKUP function. Make sure the match value is listed in the first column in your selected range. In this example select E2, G11. Then in name box, next to the formula bar, type a name for this selected range, for example, information. In B2, enter the formula equals VLOOKUP. A2, information, 3, false. You can see that when you enter in, information, in formula, range table will be auto displayed properly. Auto fill the VLOOKUP formula. All cells are filled with VLOOKUP properly and get correct values. By following these steps, you can efficiently apply the VLOOKUP function to multiple cells and retrieve the desired data from your lookup table. That's it, thanks.